Okay, I'm back. So I'm trying to decide now, I was just thinking about it when I was up, um... Do I even want a double flame or the gates? Like... On the last map, everything that wasn't Berserk was dying to one flame or an oil geyser. Do I need two? Not really, right? Uh, let's put it go on the three slot, two slot, and... No. Mystic. So I kind of want to do like... I just drop these at the gate with the double traps. Set it and forget it, maybe? And now I'm thinking, oh man, this is great. Now I can put some um, cannonballs in. I'm still, I'm missing a relic. <laughs> I, I am exhausting all my good relics with this setup. Sadly. All my, I say all my good ones, only one of them's a 60 up. All my best relics. But that's... 70 per lane? That, sh I think, should kill most of the things. Now, it's not going to be great for, like, a uh, Moab coming out and stuff, but... I think the EMP Kobolds will die to the combo too. They get slowed and stunned by the uh, traps here. Maybe it's a little too close to the gates, considering like they're not going to be in line of sight anyways. But, no, we'll see. I don't really know where I'm going to put the walls, which I will use. But I kind of want to like do this and then just throw a couple cannonballs behind a wall. Because I do think like two cannonballs is probably better than two flame auras for berserks. And definitely for bosses. The only thing that kind of makes me not sure about that is the fact that you can get, like, a bunch of berserks on your walls at the same time. Bunch of ber jerks. Yeah, so basically like that, I'm not sure. That's probably not going to hit the berserks very well. The sand trap's fine, though. What do you mean block? Oh. It's like I didn't even pull it out. What do you mean it's block location? I did, I just couldn't see it. There we go. I don't know, I'll just bring these back to chokes. Far back chokes. Excuse me. Oh, hey! Ew. Yeah, I just want to pull them like really far back, so as if I can in like veins like this. Or this situation here, like I don't want to lose the sub objective. So I'll put this here. And it's still like out of sight of uh, Hex Towers. Here, I'm not a big fan of this spot, especially if they can get through. Yeah, you did. We. Oh, yeah. I'm really not a fan of what I just did there, but I just want them out of like sight, out of sight, out of mind. This one, like us, let's, let's move it up. I'm, I'm not sure if the hex throwers like in that lane would hit it, but they're still gonna take damage. Like, I don't have to be that conscious of them. With that in mind, I'm almost just going to move this one beside it. Because if I do flame aura on the walls, that's more efficient. Then my wallage, um... We'll Skyguard, because I like them. Also, yeah, with this setup, I don't have to worry about Skyguards hitting the, um... EMP Kobolds too early, because they'll always be in the flame aura. So I put it here, and I think it hits that flyer lane fine. Yeah, it's reaching like 
Yeah, it's reaching the cliff. It gets that flyer laid. Then I'll put one back here, so if anything does get by, gets hit by this one, which is doing that lane as well. How's RNG treating me? I don't know if I've gotten any loot today that I really want. Some armor, no relics, as far as I remember. If I got a good relic, I'd be using it. <laughs> um, off stream, I got power pylon, but the rest of my shards are kind of meh. So I guess not great. Not great is my answer. All right. I lack a relic for anything else, so I might as well just do this. And if I have another 40 per lane, I'll probably just put a boost aura on the front for fun. This will be my uh, boss takedown. I could do the oil guys as the wall like I normally do, but yeah, it's whatever. Ah, uh, see, I don't get the uh, sharing over here like I do in the other lanes. It's real nice, or in the other lane over there. Actually, like I don't want to put that there. Oops. You haven't passed, uh, you haven't beaten C7 yet, but you, uh, you've beaten C6 reliably now, aren't you? Made four or five. Oh, you're almost there, dude. You got this. I believe in you. Really, really, plant, work with me here. There we go. We'll drop it there, drop it there, we'll also drop it like it's hot. So six lanes, I need 240. I'm not going to have the boost in every lane. I won't. I just won't bother. Though, you know, since I'm using flame auras in this lane and over there, I don't need the same Skyguard coverage that I got. Really, I can't put that there? It's actually too close. Ugh. There we go. It's close enough. The only thing is I need the Sky Guard for that lane because, well, I don't need it. It's just really useful. But I don't think I can get that lane and that lane with a single one. Like before it takes out the sub or Reaches there. I don't want to rely on just two flame auras yet for my only uh, AA. Mm, I mean, two flame auras is really good. I was doing it on Bulwark the other day. Even like this lane has the two coming through, but I can keep that guy up there and probably just get rid of this guy. If I need another 30 for the fl like, if I have 30 left over, how much do I have? 980? Uh, actually, I still can't do it, right? Six lanes at 40. That's 240, right? Six times four? 24? Yeah. They still can't really do it. Unless I make this bad decision. Pull this wall back here. That's two flames on this wall. It's not really like blocking any holes, but I'm far enough out that I don't think the Berserks are just going to run by it. Unless they really pack up onto it. And now... I should be able to do it. Why am I doing this? There's no good reason for it. <laughs> Because I can. Also, look at this skin. Yep. 
Yo, PCT, can you feel how strong you are? So now we're like, now we're super slow stacking. We're getting the crit buff in there. Hi, Hopsio. Welcome, dude. <laughs> Not quite. I don't know if there's any spot where I can really get this lane up here in the bottom one. Maybe like here, if I pull them back, actually. But I've already done what I've done. Let's just do that. I think I could have double boosted those lanes, though, if I did that. If I had done that, though, I'd have how much? 50 left? I could put that Sky Guard back in. A weak Cobalt lane, though, with Sky Guards that I'm about to... Not Sky Guards, Flame Wars I'm about to fix the shardage. Should be okay. But we'll see. Maybe I'm going to pay for this. You feel weak in C7, though. Man... I don't know, it's just with how hard everything hits, like, even when I'm strong, I feel weak. Maybe it's just my DPSs are all, like, really squishy, but no matter how much armor I have, like, Worm Scarf, Bulwark going, and I haven't broken 200k yet, but... Everything but, like, a Quibbly one, and maybe a Griblock one-shots me. So I need some more uh, health, but, like, Worm Scarf, Bulwark, HP stacking. I feel like I'm better off just having enough HP to survive assassins and then playing a ranged hero. Uh, did I do this one already? And then I need to do sky guards. I don't know if I have to put in my deck. I don't know. I should test that sometime. So we got flames at 0 0.31, and oil geyser 1.5. Okay, we good. The so U, U. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, here, we got a MP Cobalt there. Do you do anything even remotely scary? No. Good. That's what I need to see. So this is the Flyer Lame I'm worried about. There's Flame Auras there, though, that I think get them in their path, and... The Sky Guard does reach them. The only problem is... If the Sky Guard's fighting, like, yeah, four Flyer Lane like that, and this one comes in, too. Like, say that's a beetle lane, so it's slow, and this is a fast wyvern lane. It might not shoot them when I need them to. Alright, this is wave one. Nothing's upgraded, because Nimbus doesn't want to give you mana. Or do you. Pretty reliable there. Uh, these took damage, though. More than I was hoping for, at least. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay. I guess who gets to rebuild? Oh, that's really annoying. Uh, my pr my replay, my uh, laptop stream, got paused somehow because bad internet or something. And I can't even see like where it came from, but I'm pretty sure I just walked around this wall here. Maybe it was that one. Did I block this hole off? Even if I blocked it off, is it ever enough? The answer is not really. So maybe I'll keep these. Let's take this out. That's your double wall. That's one, two, and three. They trend to the left here. Turn that one in. 
Not that I read that confirmed as being something that mattered ever at all. Then I can do this, so one. One, two, and three. Actually, let's do in front of two walls, kind of in front of two walls. And on the walls. 40 left. Um... Don't really need to do anything else. I can boost or them for fun, so let me do that. Let's take this tree in the tree. You're max C7? Oh my god, dude, I hate you a little bit. So now, like, I don't even need this Sky Guard up here. I can actually save 50 and 90 actually in the end. Well, I might, I, I probably just stick it back there for both lanes. Is there a relic, a set relic for? I would do, okay, for boost doors, I would do a mark. And I say this because I don't have this as well. I do a mark with health and power, don't need speed on it. Crit's kind of like the way to go with the game right now, so crit first, just because of how it scales. And then power, because speed doesn't matter. Health, um, they do lose quite a bit of HP, so you'd need some health on them. A secondary stat is perfect when power or speed doesn't matter. I don't know, who knows, maybe there's a way where you want to be doing power or something, but as far as I can tell, it's crit. If I wanted to like waste more time, I would move this wall back too, but I'd have to rebuild and there's some nice like little bit of sharing going on here. Right, let's get the flame wars that are flyers. I might lose right here. I don't think I'll lose, but I might. A heavy cobalt lane coming in, no AA. No proper AA. It depends on AI. Oh, you got all the DPS gear too? Wow. Or do you have do you have any like Max relics. Okay, no, that was pretty reliable. He didn't even rage. I guess that's because he got crit in the uh, like rage, right before the rage threshold. I just realized that if I have ranged guys here, they're not really gonna get hit by anything coming in. Um, I should have the flame aura further out. I didn't think about the gate opening up there. I don't really want to change anything else up though, because it's kind of alright anyways. Except for this one dude. Mm, let's not be dumb. I'll sell the um, boost aura. Put a flame aura forward. Well... And then there's the EMP kobolds. Hmm. Screw it. It's like four MP Cobalt's one <laughs> one book. Just leave it. What do you have up Myth Metal? Yo, is that what's on my Scarguard too? 
Yeah, it's a 45 up. I only have 160 up. Um, and like, it's great. But it's still only 160 up. Oh, those are some nice guy guys, dude. They're actually like, almost as much as mine. Oh, I didn't do this lane. <laughs> Oops. Actually, let's do you. You don't really need to shoot right now anyways. On my Skyguard, um, I'm using a medallion with health and speed. And it has range, rate, and destruction on it, actually. I'm using destruction. I figured if I didn't have crit on the uh, relic, I might as well just go for the uh, reliable damage path entirely. Oh, get stunned, bros. Here we go. Sakalian. Oh, that's annoying. You are too, but get rid of you first. Oh my god, where was I facing? That's not the way my camera was pointing. How are they able to? Um, I mean, they're really not. It's the flame wars that are doing most of the work. Um, but like, my sky guards have enough DPS that if I upgrade one a couple times and give it enough range, it's typically enough. Or if I put a couple of them together, they can do it. Flame wars? What? I don't understand. What? What? Claymores? Did I say Claymore? I said- oh, I said fl Flamora? Sorry? Uh, I said Flamora. I don't know what actually came out of my mouth, though. I do have a tendency to mumble. I apologize for that. Alright. Uh, I don't know, let's pick a priority lane. Where's Hexthrower? Get you up. Those are fine. Um, 12 Berserks, jeez. You know what? I wasn't gonna do you. You get it. 12 Berserks. 4, 8, 4, 4. You're already done. Mumble Master Hero. Hey. I spend my time inside playing video games. And I uh, took engineering in school. Do you really expect anything different from me? I ain't exactly a public speaker. Here, I'm I actually like made myself cringe a lot when I said ain't instead of not. You PDT and flame are yeah. That's a pretty common one too. A lot better for berserks than just flame auras. But I'm personally a little sick of seeing PDTs. I'm trying to avoid them a little bit, but I'll probably use them again in the near future. Is their mechanics fun? Where are you targeting? Like, full off to the side. 
<laughs> get list, bro. If you're using um flame auras, I just recommend um like walking away, getting out of there. Boss Zapper doesn't seem to crash on anything if there's no like turrets or players around. I'm not even positive it'll crash if he sees a turret. Uh, let's do the rest of the front ones. Do we have Boss Man Zapper? The Moab? We do, okay. I'm gonna do this guy. Not that it's gonna matter all that much, but could help. I'm not gonna like avoid it though. I do want to see if I can take it down. Uh, with only one flame more on my DPS. The answer is probably should be fine. But whatever, something to do. I haven't done it enough to feel 100% confident, so there's a little, a little bit of drama or whatever there. Oh god, I've been looking at this. Um. Trash, trash. Might use. Probably will use. Yo, gamers, what up, dude? It's a decent piece as well. Forty-five, fifteen. Uh, I'll keep that. And there's one chest piece left. Thirty. Did I check that? Maybe I checked them both already. Do I know which one does more? No clue. I would assume um, Monk does more burst. But the Squire is probably better, like, uptime. But I haven't checked the regular, like, I haven't checked Monk. I I'm assuming he does more burst. But I don't know. Has the game treated me? Good, unless they mean RNG, in which case, bad. <laughs> The squire is great. I, I really like the squire uh, numbers for DPS. Like, you're actually making me want to play it. It's on my deck. You're doing random thingies. Oh, I can't do that one. Whatever. Whatever. Some Moabs in this lane. He's not stuck. I'm going to have this jerk on me, though. Like, get off so I can do my thing. There we go. Burst to oblivion. Man, that initial um, assassin spawn is actually, like, kind of scary for that reason. Like, I should wear a sparkle party. Uh, hero. Oh god, what are you damaged by? Oh, the Slicalian! That's right, that's right. I forgot there's a Slicalian on my walls. Lucky it didn't go down. So really, I should have helped DPS that thing. Dealt with the assassin and then gone. And took out Zapper. Bop this guy a bit. Do those go up the hill? They do, so I might be able to hit the uh, skelly too. Yeah, there we go. That's an efficient key blast. Nice. Just died to another boss sapper. Yo. I feel for you, dude. That sound is sarcastic, I didn't intend it to. Is that clapping? Do they actually have clapping in that uh like win streak shard thing? Damn. Well, that could prove useful at some like someday in the future. I don't know why I bother like 
picking them up. It's gonna auto loot them, or send them to my auto loot anyways. That's the only bag I have sorting in. I really need to like start setting these bags for specific things so when I pick them up they go to those bags. I think that's what it is, right? If you do your bag filter options, pressing E will send them to that corresponding bag. Man, PCT, you weren't watching yesterday, were you? When I did like three tries to beat four mana sewers and we kept having like kobolds do stupid things. Oh, I feel your pain, dude. But I mean, that was building weird. Alright. There's been a few. Let's see what I got. Node increase. Blazing Phoenix. Storing Snipe. Give a Life Leech because I only have one. But the rest can go. I don't even think Life Leech is that good, but... I really don't need the others, and I could do something with Life Leech. Maybe. Um, I, I'm not sure. Well, here's the thing, right? Like, I'm pressing E to pick things up, and I have space in bags before my last bag, which is my auto loot. But none of these bags have filtering things, and I'm pretty sure they said in the dev stream that when you pick something up, it goes to whatever bag has, like, uh, the bag options set for it. I don't even know it needs to be on auto collect. Maybe it does. Yeah, it probably does. Yeah, this one's my... Confirm. This is my only one with auto-collect. I press E, everything goes to there even if I pick it up myself. So. I'm inclined to believe it. 